Hey, howdy, happy day. Just the other day, a guy came up to me in a mall. I was in a mall, not wearing a mask. Kind of excited just to be there, don't you know? Guy came up and he said, hey, I got two questions for you, Mr. Wright. Kind of cute name. And he said, question number one, he's a Tucker Carlson. He recently got into somewhat of a scuffle in Montana. It's been in all the news. A guy came up, was an inch or two away from his face. If it happened to you, Brian, what would you do? I said, well, you know what? We never know what we will do in a case like that. Thank goodness you're a long ways away from me when you're telling me this story or talking about it. But probably, or what I would like to do at least, if he got, well, first, he wouldn't get that close. I got this martial art thing. You kind of keep six feet away from me. That's my space. I guess that's not sex, whatever that is, don't you know? But if you kept coming into that space and I was in the store with lots of people, I guess I would say to people, get your cameras on, do a video now because I'm going to smack them and get out of my space or I'm going to smack you. And if that doesn't work, I'll take my gun out and I'll shoot you. This is harassment. How dare you? Get away from me. Ah, big talk. Would I do it? I think so, but we would see. Hey, number two question. He said, I'm a senior citizen and he says, I live primarily for my CPP. This was in Canada, right? Canadian pension plan. And I get $700 a month. I went to see an attorney recently. I needed to hire a lawyer and he wants $700 an hour. And he said, that's not right. And I said, well, you know what? There's a couple of things about that. Firstly, $700 an hour for a service person, a service industry times 2,000. That's a, hours. That's a million for a year for a service industry. Of course, that's ridiculous, but it is his right as an attorney to charge that. It's your right to not accept that. He said, yeah, but where would I go? They're all that way. I said, you need to talk to them. People accept lawyers like a dentist or a doctor. You just go and pay the bill, right? Y'all got to smarten up and you got to talk to them and say, this is craziness. I'm not paying you that. Bah, bah. Okay, a gal was coming on to me in the bar just the other day. Oh, old and tired looking me, but she was. And she was uh, not attractive. In fact, ugly as a stick. Uh, and she said, I had a shirt on, drink till you want me. And I looked at her shirt and I looked her in the eye and he says, I just can't drink that much. And, and uh, the doctor said, you know what? You will be released from the hospital in another three days. <laughs> hey, ha, guns, boom, 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 boom. The uh, Czech Republic has now approved to add a right to self-defense with a gun to its charter of fundamental rights and freedoms following a successful petition campaign that's been going on. Canada and all you other call me countries, listen up. This is Czechoslovakia, right? I mean, come on. I have a CZ 75 and 9 millimeter and a CZ 65 22 caliber gun. And you know what? They make good guns. And finally, after years of being communist and people saying, give us your guns and give us all your rights and freedoms away, people are stepping up, pushing back. And in Canada, it wasn't that long ago, Canada, in the U.S. Of a, back in the 80s and 90s, you couldn't carry a concealed gun anywhere. Now you can in every state. You know what? People power works, particularly when you're dealing with the guys that are really, really hardcore commies like the prime mistake in Canada. Push, push. Don't give up. The CSSA, Canadian Shooting Sports Association, is the, the biggest pusher on the block. There are others too, but they're the biggest and strongest. And then, of course, you should have insurance, firearm legal defense. Oh, are you getting all of this? Defend your rights. Second Amendment. Mayors, I'm taking a sample here of 20 mayors that are all Democrat in the U.S. of A. in major cities, Denver, uh, San Francisco, New York, and so on. These are all people who have said repeatedly people should not have the right to have a gun to defend themselves. Bah humbug, y'all can't do that. And let's also defund the police. So they're pushing those two agendas all the time. But while they do that, they increase their budgets for personal security. Their security details have gone up in numbers. I think the one in Detroit has 22 officers now at a cost of $3.4 million, but nobody else can do it and get rid of all the police for all you peasants. This is bad, but they are liberal. What do you all expect? That's how they operate, right? I can do this, but you can't. You can have an opinion as long as the same as mine. Socialism, it's a terrible thing. San Francisco, <clears throat> $12.5 million was spent between two, uh, 2015 and 2020 to protect the mayor there, Mayor Breed, and, but we're going to get $120 million give get off the budget for the policemen and for the good people right new york same kind of thing slashed a billion dollars from the police budget and the wacko mayor there his security detail kicked it up a whole bunch right ah it's uh you know what here's a guy <laughs> you think he's a good guy in a way a dumb guy but a good guy he bought a gun a new gun he was proud it's kind of like having a gold card. First time you get it, you have to buy everybody lunch just to show that you have the gold card, right? So he was in a bar and he had to show everybody he had a new gun. So he pulled it out to show people, shot himself in the leg. Oh, they walk about us. Hey, okay, I got a lady here. Her name is Emily Brown in Canada. Emily Brown. Dot C A. 
you know, go to her site. She's a conservative running to be the conservative member of party, but she's a gun gal, boomity boom. She likes guns. She's been on many boards of many things, trap shooters and on and on. She's got a long list and she's right wing. What is right wing? Right really is the opposite of wrong. And I would say she's right. She's got a great bio. Look her up if you're in Canada, particularly if you're in the Brampton area, if you're in Toronto, wherever you are. In Ontario, it'll kind of strengthen you up a little bit. Life is good. See ya.